A critical agreement that permitted Ukraine to export grain through the Black Sea has been terminated, and Russia has informed the UN, Turkey, and Ukraine of this. The accords, de facto, ended on Monday, according to Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov. In accordance with the agreement, cargo ships from the ports of Odessa, Chornomorsk, and Yuzhny, Pivdeny could enter the Black Sea. Moscow asserted that if the agreement's requirements were met, it would return to it. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, has long complained that agreements authorizing the sale of Russian food and fertilizers have not been upheld in some respects. In particular, he claimed that despite this being a requirement of the agreement, food had not been delivered to underdeveloped nations. Additionally, Russia frequently lamented the restrictions imposed by Western sanctions on its own agricultural exports. Mr. Putin threatened to renege on the deal numerous times. The nation's foreign ministry reaffirmed these complaints on Monday, accusing the West of engaging in open sabotage and, selfishly, prioritizing the deal's business interests over its humanitarian objectives. But Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the president of Turkey, told reporters that he thought Mr. Putin wants to continue the agreement and that they would talk about the renewal of the agreement when they meet in person next month. The grain agreement is significant because Ukraine is among the top exporters of sunflower, maize, wheat, and barley. Naval boats blockaded Ukrainian ports after Russia invaded in February 2022, trapping 20 million tons of grain. The blockade caused a sharp increase in food prices worldwide. Additionally, it put in danger the Middle Eastern and African nations that significantly rely on Ukrainian grain for their food supplies. In July of last year, the United Nations and Turkey assisted in mediating a final accord. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, stated that his nation wanted to keep exporting grains while pointing out that the pact was composed of two agreements that were mirror images of one another, one signed by Russia and the other by Ukraine. In response to Russia's decision to renege on their agreement, he declared, we are not afraid. We were contacted by companies that own vessels and they're willing to keep shipping grain as long as Ukraine and Turkey agree to let them in. An international armed patrol group might be established to escort ships bringing grain from Ukraine and protect their safety, according to Mr. Zelensky's advisor Mikhailo Podoliak. However, he acknowledged that not many nations might be eager to establish such patrols. Why does Russia not extend the grain agreement with Ukraine? the obstacles on other routes for exporting grain from Ukraine. The BBC was informed by Nikolai Gorbachev, the president of the Ukrainian Grain Association, that his organization's members had discovered more channels for grain exportation, including ports along the Danube River. The amount of grain Ukraine could export would be reduced, and the cost of transporting it would increase, he acknowledged, but the ports would be less effective. Ursula von der Leyen, president of the EU Commission, blasted Russia for making a cynical move, saying that Brussels was merely attempting to ensure food security for the world's vulnerable. Other Western politicians also swiftly denounced the decision. Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the US ambassador to the UN, called the action an act of cruelty. In the meantime, Antonio Guterres, the secretary general of the UN, declared that the body would seek remedies for the rise in human suffering that would inevitably follow Russia's decision. In a hungry and suffering world, there is simply too much at stake, Mr. Guterres said. The declaration from the Kremlin came shortly after a Crimean bridge attack that claimed the lives of two civilians. Although Ukraine hasn't formally accepted blame for the attack, a source in the nation's security service told BBC Russian that it was responsible. According to Mr. Peskov, the attack had nothing to do with Russia letting the pact expire. He told reporters in Moscow that President Putin had declared the position before this attack. 